Hey everyone, it's Mr. Wubsy DX. We are trying something new for the channel right now. Um, I was, a few days ago, I was talking with my wife about the games I play on my channel and she suggested Doom Raider, which, sure, I'm down. I played this not long after it released. Um, as you can see, my old save files for some reason are still here. Thank you, Steam Cloud Saves. Um, I played the hell out of it, and I really, really liked it. Really enjoyed it. So we're gonna do it now. Um, I don't have a lot of history with the uh, Tomb Raider franchise. This was literally the first Tomb Raider game I ever played when it came, around the time it came out, like the year after or so. So I have no history with the character other than this game. And I never played any of the other newer games. I own them all, but I never played them. So let's go ahead and jump in. We are going to be playing on hard because I'm a hard boy. This is a story focused game, by the way. Hold on. This cutscene still looks really good for the time it came out. I think it's pre-rendered though. Pretty sure it's pre-rendered. When life flashes before us, we find something. The rise of the Something Tomb Raider. No, sorry. Something that pushes us. Hell yeah, Lara. Let's do this. I'm actually kind of ready for this. I think this is going to be fun. Hell yeah. No. I shouldn't be talking over these. I apologize. This This is a serious game for serious boys, by the way. Oh wow, the game audio is super loud. Hold on everybody. Um I don't think I can pause during a cutscene. Whoops. That's going to have to be a heavy edit. Um, let me, once I get in control here in a bit, it's not going to take much longer. I will take control here soon. They can't hear you, Lara. No. Come on. There it is. Okay, I'll just let you guys... I I'm not sure... Oh, here we go. I was gonna say, I'm not sure how to do heavy story-focused games like this. Like, I have played Asteragos, sure. But this one is much more heavy on the uh, presentation of the story, so or we're gonna have to... Experiment a little bit, I suppose. This isn't going to be a full series, though. I don't, I don't plan on it being one. I'm just going to do a few, like five, maybe six eps, just to see if you all like it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I don't remember her wearing or being wrapped up like that, but it has been almost a decade since I played this, so. Let me out, let me out. There we go. Hold on, Lara, while you swing. 
I got, um... It's under gameplay options too, which is fucking weird. Let's bring that down here. We will bring the music down. Actually, a little bit lower than that. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't have to edit too much. There you go. Reyes! Oh, there we go. Almost there. You won't, Lara. I've got you. I've got you. Left. Oh, yeah, it is. You have no idea, woman. There we go. Oh, I hate this part. Ow. Oh, is it is it mouse? Wait, what's the? Oh, it's E. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Okay, so let me preface this a little bit. I know we're in the nitty gritty already. Um. I am not sure. This game. Okay, this game. It's it's not gory. The first opening bits are the worst in terms of how gory it can be, in terms of how Lara gets hurt. The rest of it's pretty average for at least the time period it came out in. Oh gosh, I don't remember this at all. It's been a long time. Oh, hold on. Yes, please. We're going to take this, we're going to play this by ear. Let's see if this does well. I don't want to be all smoky and lady torchy. And the torch goes out. Like at the time, I remember this being such a good looking game. It kind of still is actually. I like the lighting effects. And the way the hair moves with the uh, trace FX, whatever that is, it just look at it. Oh, look at my hair. But we're gonna try to play this as seriously pos as possible. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do too many jokey jokes. I'm just gonna try to let you guys enjoy the experience. All right, here we go. Our Arkham Asylum detective senses activate. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, I don't remember how to do this. There we go, there it is. Uh, oops. There we go. <sighs> and Michael Bay. Come on. There it is. Ooh. Come on, Lara. Climb. Climb. Or uh, uh. Oh, hello. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Yeah, I know. I know. Come back. Someone trying to help me doesn't say, Come back, please. Come back. That's not what I would say anyway. Come on. Ya fucking mook. Where you going? Oh wow, this is giving me serious God of War 2018 vibes. Like crawling through the caves. I'm gonna start giving Atreus a history lesson on what happened in what happened in the cave. Ooh. Well, of course, Lara, you walk through a freaking Yep, yep. More fire, thank god. Nope, did not mean to fall on the wah wah. Okay, get back up. So how you guys doing? Doing okay? I know this is a different tone to the rest of the games I've played so far. But wifey said to give it a try and it's like, you know what? Let's let's try something a little 
more serious in tone. Eh, see how it goes. Okay. Um, I have the perfect distance in my mind from this game, too, to not remember the puzzles, not remember the characters. I simply remember the gameplay, just third person's, you know, shooter style. Okay. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah we go. And. Oop. Hey, okay. Well, he's learning how to do puzzles on his own. I grew up so fast. Oh, what is he? What? What is there? What is? What, oh, I forgot to light them on fire. Shit. <laughs> what are your experiences with this video game? I know when it came out, it was it was a little controversial, you know, because the way the characters treat Lara, all that stuff. I never had a problem with it, like honestly, because Lara can pretty much take care of herself. Even by the, like, midpoint of the game, she's pretty capable. So I never really saw a problem with, oh, treating women bad. Now Lara's awesome. From what I know of... Oh, we're gonna have to get serious for a sec. Um, from what I know of her previous incarnations, this is the mo most, most uh, in my opinion at least, the most, like, independent, strong she's ever been. With all the crap she goes through? Come on, man. This lady's been through hell and back. And here's hell. Oh, God. Oh, I hate these bits. It's so hard to see. Mm. Oh, that's the uh, shimmy button. I thought there was a script, but there's not. Uh. Oh. I seem to remember there being a lot of instant death moments in this game, too. Run, Lara! Run! Wah. You are not trying to help me. You are not trying to help me. Oh, God. That was the wrong button. Speaking of instant death moments. Sorry about that. Um, Try again. Yay! It's, it, it's not clear on what button to push. I'm going to assume it's... Okay. It's not E. I'm going to assume it's F instead. Wow. I do not miss these kinds of events in video games. Oh my gosh. Try again. Yay. Oh my gosh. Here we go. It's going to be F, isn't it? It's F. Okay, got it. F for the red things. Woo. See you, man. Ugh. Well, how does that work? What the hell? Whoa, yo! Is this the slidey bit? No, we're not there yet. Oh god, climb, Lara, climb! Uh. What the hell? What was that? Are you? Oh, am I? Am I moving forward? No, no. We're just mashing. What, Lara? <laughs> Am I dancing? This is not what I mean. It says to mash and I'm mashing, but she's dancing. Wait, am I still mashing? Still mashing? Sorry if you could hear the keyboard during that. Oh, jeez. Oh, the music. Hold on. I love this music. Oh, here comes the flourish. Here it comes. There it is, everyone. No, oh, I thought they were going to do the, the uh, flourish of the music there. No. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Okay, I, I'm coming down from that after a sec. That was intense. 
I do not miss those quick time mash button events at all. Resident Evil 5, this game. Like, uh, I'm good. No more of those, please. I'm glad they took them out. Well, the mouse is a little. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Hold on a second. No, we're good. I guess it was just my PC being like, hold on a tick. Okay. Take it slow. Yeah, take it slow. Uh, I don't miss these either. The uh, let's walk very slowly moments in video games. Oish. If I do get around to playing the two others in this remake series for Tomb Raider, I hope they take those out. We're good, Lara. We're good. Let's move on. Hey, sprint. Can I, uh... Hey, running speed now. I keep thinking shift to sprint. You? Up we go. Where we stop. Oh, nobody knows. Oh, look at those sun shafts. Oh, look at that. That's good looking. This game is fairly old, too. Like, you could run it pretty much on most machines these days. Okay. It'll look pretty similar, too. Looks pretty good. Uh, okay, we gotta figure out this stuff now. Uh, yes, I can. I am a strong, independent Lara. Yes. Uh. Oh, oh, they changed the buttons up? Are you kidding? It was F for the cutscene, and now it's E? Okay, whatever. Climb up the airplane. Uh, uh, space to jump. Yes, yes, yes. The e to grab, not F. Okay. Can I catch a break? Wait a second. I know I'm bleeding out. And have serious concussions and contusions, but are there loot boxes back here? No, okay. Just thought I'd check. This game does have quote unquote loot. There are things you can loot and grab. Oh, oh, good, good rock climbing safety, Laura. Yeah, there we go. She knows what's up. Yeah! Double jump, sort of, kind of, maybe. Ooh, free stuff? Oh, shit. Uh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Sam! Jason! Jason! It's a very 1950s pack, too. Oh, sweet! Home video! Oh, sweet! Uh, matches? Sam? Hello? Lara. You need to wrap those wounds. How do you know I have wounds? Are they psychic? Did they suck down the dream juice too? I'm pushing E, I, I pushed E. Oh, never mind, this was the... This is the uh, slidey sections. Okay. I, I know we're like 18 minutes into this, but if you guys have never played the Tomb Raider remakes, they're kind of a mixed bag on what kind of game you like to play. At their core, they are third-person shooters. Well, third-person shooter slash action adventure slash open world slash. Jeez, how many kinds of games are these things? We'll get to that in a bit, but first we're going to introduce this thingy. Campfire. Looks abandoned. Yep, sure does. I mean, owing to the fact nobody's here. Hmm. Maybe you should have, you know, packed a jacket or something. You know, so you don't freeze. Please, respond. Please. Did anyone see my dance up that ramp? It was dope. Hello? Okay, it, it's cutscene. Okay, let's just... <sighs> This era... Oh, that's a really big fucking match. Whoa. Do they make those anymore? It's really big. I know they used to make those. I know, like, 
whenever I used to go camping as a kid, like my family would have those big ones for lighting fire specifically, but still, Jesus. Warm yourself, Lara. Warm yourself. So, this is the longest. Hold on. That's story? Dialogue? No. This is the longest out of most games I've had to play in the in the past two or three years. I've had to have my hands off the controls. Like, I know Asterago's had a few moments like that with the dialogue and the presentation, like, interly things. But those were two minutes tops. Here's the my gosh. Here we go. Archaeologist Lara Croft in her native habitat. She's on the hunt. For the lost kingdom of Yamatai, home to Yamatai. the Shiko, mythical sun queen, and ancestor of yours truly. <laughs> Sam, this is serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. All right, hold on a sec, guys. Hold on. Trying to lighten the mood here. Everyone's so on edge. What Didn't want to bump the mic. I'm close to something. I'm sure of it. I just don't know if the others will listen. Oh, they will by the end of it. Spoiler alert. They'll listen. Lara, you know this stuff better than anyone. Seriously, I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you. Roth trusts you. You got this. Now let's take a break, okay? okay. Sure. Okay. Just let me do this last break battle. I, I'm super close to getting a perfect IV Chansey. She's not always this serious, you know? Come on, Tuckle in! No, no, we got chance! How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? It's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line too. Evolved because you look like every other explorer in the '90s movies. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. No one believes Yamatai's that far east. The books simply don't support it. Because books are everything. Whoever wrote those books never found Yamatai. I've talked to. Oh shit! There's no point in following in other people's. She's talking the truth. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead. Don't worry, Lara. I'm the bad guy. Got 30 years experience, two PhDs, one in East Asia. And one Evo Lair. Located on an island with a volcano in the center. Whoa, that's a badass name. Holy shit. Dragon's Triangle. I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place is a bad energy. Hell yeah, man. Like makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. <laughs> Sign me up. The stories about Queen Himiko say she could summon storms. Myths are usually based on some version of the truth. That's but actually accurate. Yeah. Oh, look, this is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. <laughs> Tell me you're seriously you know, concerned. I love that guy already. We don't have the funds to fish about. It's now I'm also now. evil. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the dragon. I'm the dragon. captain now. Why am I even here? Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. We know what we're doing. Awesome. Oh, I was watching home movies. Memories. Will I ever find my friends? Tune in now. Because we might. I don't know. Should I spoil this game as I go? I know a little bit about it. This game is almost 10 years old, but as I've learned from previous experience, spoiling old stuff still upsets some people, so we'll see. Hello, deer. Are you a deer or an antelope? I can't tell. You ran away too fast. Come here. Oh, shit. The marketing material is already showing its ugly face. What do I do? Do I grab it? I think I need to pick up a rock to throw at it or something, or do I just... Yeah, I just walk to it. Never mind. I seem to remember having to, like, grab a rock and throwing it at it or something. I can do this. Yes, I can. Okay, what buttons do I have to mash this time? Oh, no. There we go. Got it. Get, get. Oh, jeez. That people scare me. Ooh. 
Oh, new gear. Yeah. Okay, so here's the main mechanic of this game. Shooting. Shooting, shooting, shooting. Don't mean a thing if you can't focus. Hold on, I want to open door. I can't open door. Shit. Okay, let's go kill a deer. Hey, look, arrows. Wow, just laying around. Nature is so cool. Just leaving arrows for me to pick up. Let's go kill a deer. Or antelope. It said deer, so we're gonna call it a deer. The game says it's a deer. It's a deer. First, let's get all the things. Medicinal plant. As you can see, this game has RPG elements, as in it has none. It's just a level up system. Boop. You son of a bitch. So, come, come back here, you cock. I'm shooting you in the head. You can't just walk away from that. Fuck. Yeah! I'm the best, aren't I, everyone? I have such good aim. Finish what you started, Lara. Finish what you started. This is going to be able to feed at least four days worth of my caravan to Oregon. At least. At least they didn't make me mash the arrow keys for this. This was during a time in video games where they had to show everything is gritty and realistic. Look how real our games are, everybody. She just had to gut that deer. I'm glad we're over that. All right, Lana. You won't always have some fancy gadget to tell you where you are. Nope. You Use the stars in the sky. And even the wind sometimes. Deer number two. Oh my god! Did you hear that metallic ting sound? That ting! Was he wearing- did he have metallic eye implants? I feel so bad now. He probably just got done, you know, getting some really invasive surgery done or something. Holy fey! I'm just gonna take all the arrows this guy had. Let's go back to Camp Peru. I really hope you guys are gonna enjoy this because I I'm kind of digging playing something that's more focused on story presentation than gameplay. This is not like the gameplay sucks, it's your standard third-person action-adventure, but, you know. Campsite! Ah, here we go, everyone. Okay. Okay, let's- the first very important decision here. Extra salvage. Spot hard to find animals. Food sources. Yeah, you're acting like this game has hunger mechanics, which it doesn't. Um We're gonna go I always I usually started with advanced salvaging or bone collector. We're gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna grab this. Ding! Gotcha. Uh go back. Wait, why do you still have an exclamation point on you? I have nothing else to spend. There we go. Captain of the Endurance. We are shipwrecked on an island inside the Dragon's Triangle. Roth? Yes, Roth. You're alive. Easy, Dead? easy. Are you okay? What happened? I remember the beach. And then it went black and I woke up. It was up so again. spooky, Fasha. Crazy man, Roth. And a dead body. Oh, God. Where are you now, Lara? Are you safe? It was so horrible. It's all my fault. It's not. Everyone else agreed to it too, Lara. You're okay. I've spoken to the others. We're regrouping at my location. Oh, they're all alive. Please come and get me. Please, Dad. I have to stay here. I left my keys at home and my phone died. Remember when we nah, I'm just joking. You said the key was knowing that all you've got to do is just keep moving. Keep moving. Remember everything I've taught you, Lara. Yes, father figure. I will do so. And keep your radio on. Okay. Wow. Okay. I think that's a good spot to leave it off.
Um, we'll keep going with this. We'll see how you guys dig it. I'm going to do a few eps to see how it goes. Um, but let me know in the Comente section if you guys want to see more of this. If not, that's okay. I'm just going to do a few just to see how it goes. Oh, before we go into Resident Evil Spooky House, um, this has been Mr. Webzy DX with Tomb Raider, as it is in my OBS sources tab, Tom Raider, because I misspelled Tomb. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, have a good one. Stay awesome. See you next time.